Fast reactors use fast-moving neutrons to split atoms to release energy. They can use recycled fuel from other reactors to generate electricity while also reducing the amount of nuclear waste that needs to be disposed. It all starts with nuclear fission. When a uranium atom is hit by a neutron, it can split, releasing about two or three fast neutrons traveling at roughly 10% the speed of light. These neutrons can split other uranium atoms to start a chain reaction, which creates heat that can be used to generate power. In water-cooled reactors, water slows down these neutrons, making them 10 million times slower to maintain the chain reaction with lower enriched uranium fuel. In fast reactors, liquid metals like sodium or lead are used to cool the reactor without slowing down the neutrons. When fast neutrons hit uranium atoms, more neutrons are released. Some of these neutrons maintain the chain reaction. The extra ones can convert unused uranium from water-cooled reactors into new atoms that can easily fission, creating additional fuel that can be recycled. This allows the reactor to produce 100 times more energy from the same fuel, while generating 90% less waste. Fast reactors can also be designed to destroy nuclear waste produced from other reactors. Fast neutrons maximize the fission of radioactive elements in used fuel that can take 100,000 years or more to decay to natural levels, leaving behind mostly elements that decay after 300 years. Here's how it works. A chain reaction in the fuel generates heat. Pumps circulate sodium through the reactor core to remove heat from the fuel. This heats up a separate loop filled with sodium that transfers heat to a third system that turns water into steam. The steam spins a turbine to generate electricity. The steam is condensed back into water for reuse, while both sodium loops cool off before the process is repeated.